Hi, in this video we'll be covering the bookmark methods in the Mashup API. So I'm going to start off by just opening up a sample bookmark method mashup that I've already created. So in my bookmark example, we're using the sales discovery application. And you can see I've got two ClickSense objects that are up at the top of uh, the at the top of this mashup, but then I have some inline HTML that I've added with some buttons. If I look at my HTML file, I have the same similar meta tags as well as the CSS links and the script references that I had in my default application. And then you can see in my body area, I have some differences for adding my objects as well as adding my bookmarks and the information related to the bookmarks. What's really interesting here is what this application does. So let's jump right to the JavaScript and take a look at that. So our config is similar as well as our require.config line is similar to the first example we looked at. We're only using the Mashup API for this particular example. You can see I've got my click.openapp and my reference to my sales discovery application. And then I have my get objects to pull in my two objects. But if you also noticed earlier, I had a current selections bar. So you use the app.getObject method and you specify the element that you want to add the current selections bar to. And for the object ID for current selections, it's just called current selections. After that is where the fun really starts. This is where we actually start to look at how the bookmark functionality within the Mashup API works. So I had those two buttons that you saw earlier. I've got a create bookmark and list bookmarks. If we take a look at this, you can see that uh, for button one, what I'm doing is I'm going ahead and I'm emptying the table that's going to list my bookmarks for me. And then I'm actually adding or creating a bookmark on the ClickSense inside of the ClickSense application by using the app.bookmark.create method. I'm specifying where to get the value for the name of the bookmark as well as the description when I call this method. And then for listing the bookmarks, I can go ahead and interrogate the ClickSense engine for a bookmark list by using the getList function and specifying that I'm interested in a bookmark list. The getList function has a number of different uh, uh, values that you can use for the first parameter, whether it be field list or sheet list, uh, to pull lists of information from the ClickSense server. I use a callback function there, and then I'm looping through that callback to look at the items that are in the bookmark list. And then I'm adding those items to the table so I can go ahead and click on the bookmarks and actually apply them. And that's what this last method at the bottom, app.bookmark.apply, where I supply the field value, which is equivalent to the object ID of the bookmark. And that goes ahead and creates or uh, applies the selection that my bookmark has saved. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So here's my app. And I've got my two charts. If I click on list bookmarks, I have some bookmarks here. And if I just click on them, you can see immediately I get the change. Now, if I want to go ahead and create a bookmark, what I can do is make a selection. Let's say I want to get a range of 3.2 million to 5.6 million in sales. I make that selection and I say 3.2 to 5.6. I'll call this sales range in my description and I create that bookmark. And now you can see that bookmark's added to the list. If I go ahead and clear my selections and I click that link, that gives me the selection that's stored in that bookmark. And then I can go ahead and choose a different bookmark if I want. And that's the bookmark interface in the Mashup API. Thanks for watching.